Hello everyone, this video I uh, recorded to support my Medium article which I wrote on the memory leak. So there I provided the information how memory leak dangerous for the system performance, how to prevent it and how to detect it into the profiler, the Android Studio profiler. So let's see, uh, here in the video I like to show uh, this one application I've created with two activities, main activity and second activity. And uh, it's just a simple flow of going to the next activity and coming back. So in these two activity transitions, uh, what I did is I've taken the static buttons, which certainly is not a practice at all, but uh, definitely we. I had a words on the blog that uh, static dangerous and can can be uh, creating the memory leak. So I wanted a, a example which for sure create the memory leak every time. So uh, our focus is to see the profiler here. So let's see. Uh, my application is already running here, and I go here, and in the bottom there is a profiler. Here you can uh, see the plus icon. You click on the plus icon and you will be seeing the process listed here. If you see the other debuggable processes, there are a lot of uh, which we also can debug, but we go for this right now. Here three sections are there, CPU, memory, and energy. So the, the second one, the memory, we click. And here options are there, capture, heap dump, record native allocations, record Java and Kotlin allocation. So this is our option for the memory leak. And let's just start recording and let's play the same activity which we are going to do in general. And uh, I have done the process two, three times. And you will be seeing, yeah, two leaks are detected here. So we can see the show Java yeah, means activity and fragment leaks. And we reach to the activities object here. So this is why, how the uh, memory leak can be detected into the uh, profiler. So let's see the further segments. Like if I remove the static into both of the places and I can run the application one more time. See, um, let's delete this one. Now, see, I would like to stop the application and restart freshly. Now you can see color. So now uh, let's start the same process one more time and let's see if the leaks is still present or not so let's go to the process back back and let's see the result here yeah zero leaks nothing has to be sure so uh that's all and this is how you can detect the memory leak um, Thanks for watching.